in Kloosh, we will be learning how to, you're gonna follow me in my journey to making an axe. This specific one was a commission by people in my social group that, in my school who wanted to hire me, so, and they wanted Dreams Axe, so it's gonna be a little more along, along those lines, but this should still work for a tutorial on if you wanna make your own axe or if you just wanna know how to work with foam. So the first thing you do with any good cosplay or prop design, draw out a sketch and then draw it out to life size or print it out, depends on which one you use. I just drew it out because I don't have a fancy printer. For the axe handle, I just use these floor mat. Oh, you have all the pieces well. cut out, axe, back of the axe, toppy doodles and the connector doodles and some fancy pieces because, um, mm, why not? Now, we're all, now I just have to make them sharp. That's what the Dremel comes in. That thing. Make it sharp. Then start using an ungodly amount of hot glue to assemble your axe. It's gonna be a little rough and bulky looking, but that's okay. That's what the Dremel comes Soon enough, you have a basic axe piece that it looks like it needs some help, but we'll give it the love and attention it deserves, unlike you. Once again, always look back to your reference picture to make sure you're still on track. I can't stress this enough, reference is key. So I glued on the little handle that will look like leather once you paint it. And I just grabbed a regular gloss brown acrylic and started painting. To paint the diamond look, it was pretty easy because the foam was already green. And the blue, uh, black, and dark blue, and some black for extra detail. And then the metal part, pretty self-explanatory. And then, but at the end of this, just put four or five coats of Mod Podge on just all of it so it stays in there. Thank you for that's watching. It. That's it. And Thank you for watching. I will be coming out with more tutorials. I'm sorry, the only video footage I have was from my TikTok, so I know it's not the best. Hopefully, I will get better footage in the future. And see you on the next one.